in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed the Lord is ministering to me. There is a family that has a pattern of diabetes. The Lord wants to bring it to an end now. Diabetes. Please don't be distracted. Eh? Your word is coming. Your word is coming. Make sure your heart is prepared to receive. Your word is coming. There is someone... The power of God is coming on the person right at the back. Just this row as I'm standing. Right at the back. Please, I want you to carry the person if you can and bring the person for me. Right at the back. I'm praying for families with the pattern of diabetes. I want to rebuke that devil now. When, when I make the call, don't worry. If I don't ask you to come, you can just remain where you are so we walk with time. But I need to pray. That means your siblings, it's not just you who has suffered it. This is Mount Zion. And the Lord is going to bring you healing. If you don't believe you'll be healed, don't come out. So you don't waste your time. The power of God is on you. I command that devil out of her now. Out of her. The name of Jesus. Out of her. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. This is your house, your own. We welcome you, Lord. We welcome you. This is your more time that I am your house and your I had the opportunity to pray for someone one time sir the person's leg you know how you are cutting an animal like maybe a cow and you are shredding part of it all you could see the bones I'm not exaggerating and they said that thing was caused by diabetes I never knew that this thing called diabetes could create ulcers like that I'm not a medical person and it, there was nothing that was administered to that person to be healed and to be free it was already touching the bones and if the bones began to get rotten the only thing that would be left was to um, to um, um, amputate the leg and I said that devil is a liar I want to pray for you please believe please believe you will never forget this conference in a long time ah, I just saw light on two of you two of you two of the people in front light I just saw that light now don't mind me let me do my thing I was born for this in the name of Jesus this lady wearing yellow you are one of such people that light is coming upon you and in the name of Jesus I decree and declare let every foul devil connected to ancestry release you and release your loved ones now and forever now I stretch my hands upon every one of you listen Please believe in the healing ministry. Not everybody is acting and not everybody is playing games. There are people who fear God. You can carry a genuine healing grace that shows. 
and I'm praying as I'm praying for them I believe there's someone who came for this meeting as part of the many tools for the ministry God is calling you into you will need a rich deposit of the healing anointing otherwise the gates of nations will not open for you are we together the end time church is not a noise making church it's an impactful church father I stretch my hands right now mama please place your hand on your chest yes in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands let the healing power of Jesus my God something is flowing here right now diabetes you are a spirit I call you by name and I curse you help her please help that woman you know why I pray for her help oh my God please help her she's an elderly woman no problem just guide her I mean there is a reason why I asked her to place her hand mama please don't be embarrassed there eh? do you know what happened to you there is something that if I don't pray for you for I see that this thing I'm not a prophet of doom this thing would have taken your life that's why I said place your hand on your chest I'm praying for you diabetes in whatever form and expression it has come the same way it came let that devil be packing now let that devil pack out of your life now therefore be healed now be healed from diabetes now whether you are in the crowd or you are here let that power touch you now be healed from diabetes never to return to you again in Jesus name I pray please return to your seat rejoicing return to your seat rejoicing now the Lord is asking me to pray for people and particularly for those people I'm going to make a request I will first ask you to lift your hands if you are not many I will ask you to come but if you are then you will stay there if you have any case of insanity in your family that means there is someone related to you who is having some kind of a what medical people you see sometimes this English huh? a mental or some psychosomatic problem lift your hands let me see you I'm not saying you know someone someone connected to you by blood either a, gent a gentleman who is mad like the madman in Gadara is there someone like that oh there are so many people how do we do this now just keep your hands lifted if I ask you to come out will take a lot of time do you believe that God can do a miracle for them I respect medicine I'm full of doctors and medical practitioners around my life but I submit to you that almost all conditions of madness is a direct product of spirits can be enhanced by things like drugs because there are people who take um, all these drugs that they take and pass out and keep passing out till they become mad so it can be enhanced by those things but I can tell you those drugs and those practices only gave room for spirits people don't just be God did not create I hope you know it's God that created men we have created aircrafts that can stay 30 years and still be working God will not create a human being that after 25 years just packs up like that there is a spirit corrupting God's artistry and God's creativity I want to pray for you many of you will return back to this altar and testify that your loved one who perhaps is in a rehab or whatever that also includes a loved one who is I'm going to pray for addiction shortly any kind of addiction that wants to destroy you this is the conference where you lay it down once and for all you, you, you shouldn't get back to drugs and all kinds of things do you know that there are people I don't like injections but do you know that there are people who have the courage to inject themselves every day as painful as that thing is they do it every day many times a day many times a day they wake up and inject themselves later they inject themselves by night they inject themselves and their whole body is full of these things you see one day it just leads to this madness we're talking about I know a God who is merciful and kind faithful and gracious and the apple of his eyes the thought that 
feels his heart every morning through the night. You believe what you're singing? He loves me when I didn't care. I was patient till I came, running back into his arms. Look how he's turned my life around, made me a shining star. His glory to reveal. Come on, Elihu, let's worship. I will worship you forever. of insanity that has plagued families wasting their resources causing division and all kinds of confusion by the power that raised Christ from the dead right now we arrest those spirits and we release the victims right now we release the victims right now we release the victims right now, the right now. in the name of Jesus Christ now hear me I want to pray for the sick generally right now generally right now I believe in the healing ministry that Jesus left to the church and I believe that before he returns there will be a full weight restoration of the healing ministry I believe this with all my heart lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle take your eyes away from the situation and look unto Jesus and you watch what he does in your life I know that the sickness stands as a mountain before you blood condition for some cancer for some HIV for some some kinds of lump and growth around your body perhaps prostrate for some arthritis for some eye condition for some I mustn't mention your case take a step of faith hallelujah back pain for some lumbar issues for some pile painful pile all kinds of respiratory conditions there are some right now your kidneys your liver is almost packing up your heart palpitations and it's almost like oxygen is not flowing properly to your body you've begun to feel numbness around your body and this looks like symptoms of clogged arteries I want to pray for you for as long as I live I will ensure that every day of my life someone experiences the healing power of Jesus because he's alive and the greatest form of liberty is life the greatest form of bondage is death without Jesus the last enemy to be destroyed is death because death without Jesus is the zenith of hopelessness that means when he gives life he says I am come that he may have life healing is a subdivision of life the ministry of life demands that everything life captures be featured in your life that includes healing includes restoration hallelujah eye conditions perhaps you are having a serious eye condition maybe one is already going blind I see people lifting up phones lifting up medical reports perhaps for themselves or for others I know someone who could be in a silent quiet room but 
the left ear you keep hearing all kinds of um, sounds this is somebody that I once ministered to you know like like there's noise like there's rain just on one part of the ear goiter someone's neck is beginning to swell I think that should be deficiency of iodine or something like that yes goiter you're beginning to have projections around your neck lay your hands it's about to leave right now there's someone I want to pray for you because I'm sensing you have it looks like appendicitis but it's not appendicitis but just where someone with that condition will feel pain you've been having that pain for a long time I'm, I'm going to pray for you right now listen I'm ministering by the Spirit of God there's someone you once fell and you fell here with the back of your head from that time you've been having like migraines excruciating pain you've been afraid of going to the hospital because you do not even know what they're going to tell you has happened but I need to pray for you the Lord is showing me a gentleman and there is also a lady you had an accident with someone one time it was a head-on collision you didn't enjoy yourself physically but from that day you are not all right and you've been afraid also to go to the hospital perhaps there are internal maybe organs or some kinds of bleedings the Lord is going to set you free right now ulcer very severe painful ulcer I'm seeing someone who is going through this case right now in fact there's someone I don't know what the overflow is this one that is just directly by my side the tent there the Lord is showing me a gentleman there I need to pray for you you are not able to move your neck very well I don't know whether you are wearing whatever it is but I'm seeing that there's severe pain if you you cannot even lie down on one side because you feel severe pain now there is a lady that God wants to heal and you don't have to come out I'm going to mention your case then I pray you have some kind of problem with your respiratory tract you snore very seriously this has nothing to do with lying down wrongly you understand it's something that people have to wake you because it almost looks like you can die you can pass out the Lord wants to bring you healing by the Spirit of the Living God I'm seeing someone having a severe pain around his ankle severe pain around his ankle and for those of you who are standing in for your loved ones maybe connecting in hospitals do you know it is amazing how that doctors right now are in, in, a, in an ever-growing manner believing in the supernatural during our miracle services you, you cannot imagine how many hospitals literally just put the screen and allow their patients and the kind of profound miracles that come out there yes that's what Jesus is able to do you sent your word and it healed my disease you are the Lord, my healer. I want to pray for you now. Please just help those under the anointing. You don't have to bring them out. But I want to minister the power of God. If you've never believed in the healing ministry, for God's sake, believe this once. Jesus heals. He really does. Father, in the name of Jesus, by the blood of the eternal covenant, I hope you know that is where the power of healing flows if you understand the cross then you will understand the healing ministry because that is where the power flows by his stripes the Bible says crucified lay behind us you lead to die rejected like rose trampled on the ground you took the fall and tied a heap at the Lord. let's pray 
in the name of Jesus Christ I command every spirit of infirmity in whatever form or fashion it has plagued God's people by the blood of the eternal covenant I decree and declare that spirit lives now my God that spirit lives now that spirit lives now right now I stretch my hands and I decree and declare let the healing anointing flow to your body now let the healing anointing flow to aparacos keba shadeke kesodasia krapes keberendos kaliata in the name of Jesus Christ let that stream of healing flow to your body now be healed in the name of Jesus blood conditions be healed in the name of Jesus goiter be healed in the name of Jesus ulcers be healed in the name of Jesus pile be healed in the name of Jesus every kind of growth in your body fibroids lungs be healed in the name of Jesus heart palpitations kidney problems liver problems heart problems be healed now in the name of Jesus conditions I rebuke blindness I rebuke cataract I rebuke glaucoma short-sightedness long-sightedness be healed in the name of Jesus every kind of bone condition I saw this case I'm about to mention now the last time I was in this city while I was ministering I saw this case and the Lord is showing me a similar case again this is what we call impotency I need to pray for that person in the name of you don't have to come out but in the name of Jesus this is something that has really affected your marriage I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead let a miracle happen this moment let a miracle happen this moment we cause that spirit of impotency in the name of Jesus and for every daughter of Zion who has not been able to put forth a child regardless what the medical situation is we agree as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ this moment in the name of Jesus we call you a joyful mother of children we call you a joyful mother of children help them please my God we call you a joyful mother of children and that according to the time of life return with your miracle children ear condition be healed now bone conditions be healed now every other case whether I mentioned it prophetically or not provided it is a disease in your body in the name that is above all names be healed from it now and for your loved ones who may not be here wherever they are you have the faith to believe I stretch my hands as God is touching you may he touch them in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ now hear me there are people here your challenge is not sickness you are not sick in your body in as much as you know but yours is that you are trusting God for certain things to happen in your life I want to pray for you in the name that is above all names everything that has remained a prayer point for a long time every time you are asked to write prayer points you write it then write it again then write it again long-standing issues i release my faith with you by the spirit that raised christ from the dead 
let this season be a season of manifestation let this be a season of manifestation in the name of Jesus Christ hear me everyone who is in school here undergraduate postgraduate I stretch my hands upon you the kind of intelligence you have never experienced in your life let that grace rest on you now let that grace rest on you now let that grace rest on you now in the name of Jesus Christ and for everyone trusting God for employment or trusting God to excel in business I want to release this grace upon you wherever your job is whether in Enugu or anywhere across the east or anywhere in Nigeria or anywhere in the world I relocate you to your place of relevance I relocate you to your place of relevance in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is showing me someone you and I think is it your wife or your sister now I'm seeing a lady you applied for a US visa and you were denied go back and apply again I'm saying this prophetically to you go back and apply again and may the God of wonder surprise you I don't know who should have remembered you but forgot you in the name of Jesus wherever they are we stand here as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ and we declare that they will remember you now they will remember you now now ladies and gentlemen my final prayer for you I want to place something upon your life it's called the grace of favor there is a real grace called favor and it can come upon men and speak evidently in their life I stand upon this altar as a privileged career of this grace and I pray for you in a way you have never experienced whether in your life whether in your ministry may that grace mantle you right now may that grace mantle you right now may that grace may that grace mantle you right now carry the grace for favor let it speak in your finances let it speak in your ministry let it speak in your family let it speak in your business in the name of Jesus from the rising of the sun right on till it's going down I will sing of the glory of the Lord oh you've been standing here my apologies you are the lawyer I can't even remember why I called you out I want to pray for you what do you do I'm a practicing lawyer father in Jesus name I'm praying for this man since you came out openly may the nation see you so that when when you come to testify it will be clear that the hand of God has come upon your life I stretch my hands and I declare the gates of your destiny be open heath and teeth may the Lord shift you to a higher dimension in your practice connect you to strategic opportunities in the name of Jesus I make a decree on this and may the Lord honor it in Jesus name I pray God bless you sir thank you now ladies and gentlemen this is only day two I want to encourage you I'm going to make an altar call now please let's minimize movement but I want to encourage you the conference okay okay now um, Reverend has given me the permission to among the prayers that I'll do so that will be the third thing he's asked me to pray for all those who have given and are given towards that project he just felt that it shouldn't be that you know they just drop their seat so I'm going to speak over your life but I want to make an altar call there are people always in a gathering like this you will always find people who need Jesus there's no point cajoling you you know that you need Jesus in your life and you need Jesus in your destiny lend me a minute or two 
and let me give some persons an opportunity to make it right with Jesus. Wherever you are, I'm going to count one to five very quickly. Do not be ashamed. Do not be afraid. You know you need to come out here and the Holy Spirit is telling you to run out. As I count one to five, leave your seat and very boldly, I see my dear sister coming. God bless you. Is someone joining her? I'm counting one to five. One. Let's celebrate them as they come. Run and come and stand before Jesus here. Make your ways right once and for all. Two. God bless you. Three. Come. Come to Jesus. I'm seeing a few people running. Come. Come. We will wait for you. If it has to do with your eternal destiny, we will wait. God bless you. Come. Come. Three. When I count five, I begin my prayer. So if you are coming, please make your way to the front. All the tents and the overflows, you need not come in. You may just move to your screens and just stand in front of your tent. Glory to Jesus. Many are coming. Four. My last count and then I begin to pray. Do not be ashamed. Come to Jesus. He's able to give you a new beginning. 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 And finally, five. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for coming. Please, if you're joining them, come quickly. I'm about to lead them in this prayer. May I request that, number one, you receive the slip that you'll be giving now. There are counselors giving you a slip. Please do receive that slip. At the end of the prayer, you would go back to your seat, but you'll be... Okay, beautiful. Now... All right, all of you who are coming out, um, there's a number there, 0702-557-5225. Um, you text New Life. That's all you need to text. New Life to that number, and there'll be somebody at the end of the, that call to respond to you. Lift your right hand if you can, and say this prayer after me. Let it be from the depth of your heart. God bless you for those of you who are still coming. Say, Lord Jesus. One more time, say, Lord Jesus. I love you with all my heart and I believe that you died for my sin I believe that you rose again for my justification right now I receive eternal life into my spirit and I declare that I am a child of God washed by the blood of the Lamb I go forward ever and backward never the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life i am a child of god amen keep those beautiful hands lifted father thank you for this once the bible declares that as many who will come to you you will in no wise cast away these ones have come declaring your lordship over their lives in the name of jesus and by the authority of scripture i declare your sins forgiven I call you recipients of the life of God. Let grace be released upon you for a victorious Christian life. And in the name of Jesus, you are empowered to love and serve Jesus all the days of your life. You go forward ever and backward never. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. So do well to uh, fill in your slips if you have to. And then do not forget that you're texting new life to this number. God bless you and thank you very much. Please do return to your seat. My final assignment um i've been asked to pray for all those who are giving that includes myself praise the name of the lord and so for all who are giving i don't know if i'm going to ask you to stand whether you have given or you will be giving i want to expect everybody really to stand so that i just speak a word of blessing over your life so do stand thank you thank you very much thank you very much thank you very much god bless you now i decree and declare may the lord bless you let the hand of God rest upon your life. You will experience abundance of grace in the name of Jesus. For all who have given, no matter how small, no matter how large an amount, may your sacrifice rise as a memorial to the heavens. For some of you, by your giving, untimely death has come to a permanent end in your life and family. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying that for those who desire to give and are trusting that God will bless them so they can give. May the heavens be opened over you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord bless your givings. Let it come from your heart and let it be 
unto his name and for his kingdom for in Jesus matchless name I pray and then I pray that everything you have received tonight and all that you are going to be receiving from the ministry of Pastor Jerry Eze, the ministry of Reverend George and then um, the man of God, the chief host and every other ministration in whatever form it will come. I am praying for you for the grace to retain in the name of Jesus Christ that what you have received will not be lost through carelessness. In Jesus mighty and matchless name we pray. As always, I am deeply grateful Reverend Sir. Thank you so much Enugu for always receiving of our ministry. May the Lord bless you in Jesus name. In the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain